This lesson is about rendering elements in React. First of all, we need to know how the React element work. An element describes what you want to see on the screen. Like this sample, this element show hello world on the screen. React elements are plain objects and are cheap to create. Instead, the DOM objects are not plain objects and they have many attributes and methods. What React DOM does is taking care of updating the DOM to match the React elements. So elements are what components are made out. We will talk about components in details in next lesson. Let's render an element into the DOM. Open codepen.io and create a new pen. Like previous lessons, we need to config the JS to use Babel as a JavaScript processor and add React and React DOM to the JavaScript libraries. To render an element, first of all, we need to create a div in the HTML part and assign an ID which is root and we need an element a JS6 syntax we need here h1 hello world and close the h1 so what we have here are a div and a react element so we use react dom dot render this method accept two parameters the first one is the react element and the second one is the div we want to put the react element inside in so use document dot get element by id and the id here is root okay you see we rendered hello world inside a web page with a, inside a div container and this is our React element. Now that we can create a React element, it's time to update the rendered element. What you need to know is that React elements are immutable. So once you create an element, you can change its children or attributes. So uh, the only way to update the UI is to create a new element and pass it to React DOM render. Here we can create another element 2 and this is H2. My name is Basir and I use 
the React Render method here, and you see the second render method completely clear the web page and replace the whole div with the new element. Also, we can update periodically the web page with set interval method. So use set interval and here we have a function and set the interval to one second and inside this function we create an element which shows the time and render it and as you can see every second render method runs and the time will be changed here react dom compare the element and its children to previous one and only updates the change into the DOM. As you see in the sample, only the time changes here. Very good. What you need to do at the end of this lesson is about React mindset. You should just think about how the UI should look like at any given moment rather than how to change it over time which eliminates a whole class of bugs in next lesson we talk about component and probes and please follow us to watch that videos too